They looked at the size of the giant. They looked at the fact that he was a champion since his youth, but they didn't know David's resume. And when they begin to question David, he said, whoa, 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 time out. I've defeated a lion. I've defeated a bear. I've got this. Basically what he said, it was like me leaning on the car and say, God, I'll take whatever you got because I know that you've been faithful. I've watched you move in the past. I know that you will move again. What I love about this story, and sometimes we we don't look at God's word and say, what can we learn from those people who don't know Christ? Here is this man, Goliath. He's over 10 feet tall. He's got this armor that's intimidating. And when David begins to go, as God called him to do, and he's willing to fight when no one else will fight, what do they say to him? They look at his stature. They look at the fact that he's kind of a pretty boy. But they couldn't see the heart of the warrior. They didn't know the background story of of the animals that came after his sheep, and he took care of that. They didn't know that story. He was overlooked by all the other brothers. They were looking, Samuel was looking for the right one to anoint and the wrong one and the wrong one and the wrong one and the wrong one. And then someone said, they asked, he said, do you have somebody else? Yeah, he's out in the field with the sheep. So they didn't know David's resume. They weren't familiar with how he was simply available to go. He was available to fight. And that day he was the only one willing to go 